sort from left to right and click OK. OK. Oh, I, I'm not selected anything. Root, I'm sorting by what? By row 20. Then I click on OK. Now you can see now that uh, we have everything sorted red to red. Now, what if I want to select, I want to include other selection? The difference between not um, uh, continue with my current distance that only this row will be affected. But when I say okay, I can say okay, I want to do like this. Let me right click and sort, custom sort. Then if I expand other selection, see what will happen. It will it will when i reflected it it go it will affect all other rows let's click on this left to right click on this click on this it's going to affect every other rows that we have here also just like the normal sorting that will affect all rows will follow each other any question on that before we move to filter, can we have like five minutes break? Let's have five minutes break so that we can uh, maybe stretch our leg five minutes and we'll come back in five minutes time. Or during that period, you can be practicing, but try to stretch. I think that's better. Try, try to stretch your leg five minutes break and um, practice and the ask questions when we resume we'll continue from where we are somebody asked a question is that different between sorting and filtering yes the answer is yes we have differences between sorting and filtering while sorting is arrangement filtering is selecting we want to select what we need or we want to remove what we don't need when we are filter, when you have water, you are filtering something from water. I want to filter dirty out of it. Or I don't know. People like us who come from village, we silver, we see, uh, we filter ogi. When you after you grounded the pump, uh, you got a corn. You take, you use a, a kind of cloth called uh, silver. We silver it out, or we filter it out. We throw away the shaft. And the, the fine one is what we consume as a camo or ogi or cocoa. Yeah, that is filter. So when we filter something, remember when I was talking about um, databases, I filter some things out from here. From here, I remove some things. When I was clicking on them, they were going off. They were going off. This one. We have something here before, but when I remove. When I click on filter and I uncheck this box, it ran away. That is filter. Now, let's now see how filter works. Let's quickly look at this filter here. Filter here. Um, normally, when you have a table, like in this case, when you have a table, by default, you have a filter box here by default when you have a table a filter will come with that table although the filter can be turned off you click on the table button and click on this box you can check the bot off so that you don't see the button again from filter so now how do we filter to filter now there are three ways by which we can do filter just like three ways for sorting we also have three ways for filter i can right click and filter i can go to data tab and filter and i can go to home tab and filter three ways for each of them 
So let's start from um, the fourth way. The fourth method is by using table. On the table format, on the table, you have on the table you have it here. That is the fourth method. You can see sort here. You can see filter down. Sort, filter. Can you see they are different? You have sort at the top. You have filter down. So back to filter. I want to right click now. I want to filter um, smartphone off this place. I don't want to see fil filter. No, I don't want to steal smartphone from this place. I can quickly say I right click on this, click on filter, and I click filter the cell value. Can you see that? Now I have only smartphone being here that is after filtering it but because I've, i selected it before using um, the filter it kept only this for me okay let me quickly go here and uncheck this let me check the remaining and i click okay now only these three will show this one will go off click okay now we have laptop tablet and desktop that is how to do filter. That is the basic way of filtering things out. And just like I did earlier here also, <clears throat> you can filter out something that is not that doesn't belong to a group. Data filter. So you can um, filter tab and do a filter. Right click on this and select. Okay, sorry. Click on filter and select what you want to remove. So that the one that I checked are the one that you want to keep. Click OK. So it will go off. And you can also clear filter by using this button. Clear filter. When you click on this, it will clear the filter from this. You can't see my screen. Okay, the three methods. One method is by right clicking. You see filter here. Second method is by going to home tab. You see filter here. The third method is by going to data tab. You see filter on the data tab. You have me, Mr. Egyptian. You can exit and rejoin. If you can't see my screen, exit and rejoin again. <clears throat> so that is basic filtering. So when you are working with your analysis and there's something you want to remove, doesn't belong to the group, that is when you use filter. You want to see, you want to analyze certain group only you want to work on laptops let me clear filter here i want to work on laptops i can just right click and keep laptop only filter this value by value so i only have this laptop so i can work with a laptop as as uh, much as i want Any question on filtering before we move to advanced filter? Oh, sorry. sorry. And you can you can you can rejoin, exit and rejoin. Perhaps the network may be a bit um, responsive then. Any question before we move to advanced filter? advanced filter we will move on <clears throat> no question okay 
I've mentioned it already. I've mentioned and re mentioned again. Okay. Let's talk about advanced filter. Advanced filter. Okay. Now, assuming you remember when we were talking of cost of starting, we have we bring out, we brought out a new dialog box where we can manipulate the sorting unlike just by a to z z to a a dialog box we also have dialog box for filtering in excel also how do we get that go and you go to data tab you see what is called advanced filter when do we when do we use this we use advanced filter when you want to extract a data and you don't want to touch the original data. You don't want to touch the original data that you have. Look at this now. If I come to this place and I want to see David, Davis, rather, I can come here and click on this. I want to see everything about Davis only. So you can see every other ones remain silent. You can't find them again. What about Adams? I want to see Davis and Adams. Click OK. Can you see them? I only have this. OK. Let me remove. Let me clear this. Let me clear this. I want to see all sales from California. I can come here and I filter everything out. Just select California. Click OK. So I can see just California only here. This is a way by which you can um, analyze your data. You can see now we only have what California to work with. Every other ones are what? Eden. They were only Eden. They were still there. Look at the numbers there. 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. 15 after 15 everything i we have you can see the two lines there it shows that there's something hidden here so but when you use advanced filter so you can copy this now as when you want to sum this now you cannot sum it if you want to sum this here let's say equals to sum open the bracket if i sum this let's see what we have 23,000. But what happened when I remove this? When I remove the filter here. Okay, okay. One to 16. Let's see. So now i cannot i will not be able to do other ones again now but when you use advanced filter it gives you opportunity to leave the original data where it is and you are able to do your own extract somewhere else <clears throat> um let's look at this data here i want to sort by i want to filter out all of, um, california california where the type is single family family and uh, the pool the pool is uh, false. Where the pool is false. That is it. That's what I want to do. But before we go to advance, let's try to do it manually here first. I want California, right? I come to this place, uncheck all the box. So when you have a long list, you can also search. We have California. 
okay where what the type is single family wow everybody's everything is even single single family and uh, where the pool is false the pool is what is false <coughs> click ok so when you have 1000 rows and you just need a simple information can you see a simple this is a simple way by which you can just get your information out of it you don't need to be looking at them one by one just use your filter to get results based on that particular instruction that you have when you have you can also do something here also you want to see where the amount is greater than or less than filter when you get a number format number filter you can see you want to see where the amount is greater than or less than something let's say amount greater than 600 only let's just see where the amount is greater than or equals to greater than or equals to what let's say greater than or equals to five on five uh, six hundred thousand six hundred thousand and click ok can you see now that we have everything between 600 and above everything below 600 are off mr akim lolade holiday sorry your question please you can unmute and talk Mr. Akim Kolade, you raise up your hand. Hello? Okay, I think it's a mistake. When you are done, type done in the chat box. When you are done. I said you should filter the data based on California only. California only. <clears throat> and uh, where, the bed, where the type is single family. The pool is false. And uh, the list price is greater than or it costs 600,000. So you select one by one, like I did, select 600,000 under the number format here, greater than or equals to, if you want to use greater than, less than, or you want to filter the top 10 only. You can also filter top 10. Let me clear filter from this price and um, clear filter from the pool let me clear filter from here i want to see the top five i want to see the top five sales from here right click on this number format we have the top 10 here and i want to make it only the top five five top five only i click ok oh did i click on three It's five. Yeah, why do we have three? Okay, maybe the numbers are the same. <clears throat> top five. Let me make it six and see what we have. Okay. The top five. I think that number that numbers they are not correlating. So 
if something happens, we have two numbers that are the same. That's the reason why we cannot have um, the top five. If you have to top six also, that means there's something there's something wrong with six. Sometimes in analysis, you may want to have the top. We only have we want to have the top ten percent. So come here and have the top ten percent. Top ten, and you change this one to what? I want to see the top ten percent only. Can you see here? We have a top ten percent. So those are the things you can do with your top here. We want to see all figure above average. We have above average. <clears throat> Can you see them? We want to see those below average. We want to see below average under your filter. You can filter all the data below average. So you don't need to do so much voila. Have all these things here, they are below average. So you want to see pass mark or fail mark or anything. You can quickly do that. Also under filter. Text filter also have the same thing. You can filter where the cell, where it says equals to. You want to equal to, equals to um, 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 illness. Instead of um, let's say early, let's just click okay. There's nothing like that. Okay, let me type in full equals to early nurse. Am I right? Oh, N O U S. I think I'm correct. I click okay. Okay, let me let me copy the formula. Let me copy the name. Illinois is okay. I'm to see. Text filter also equals to this. And if you want to change it, you can also change it. So only where it equals to this. So you can do that also. When you cannot when you don't have time to be selecting you can just you can just use that or where the text only contain you want to see where it contain um let me see something that are the same i g n e o r i want to use o r where it contain o r no we have o r in colorado o r in florida o r in georgia so i can come to the text function here where it contains OR and I click OK. You can see now all the states that has OR will be filtered out. Every other state will remain what? Hidden. Now let's quickly go back to what? Advanced filter. Now the same thing we achieve using the manual method, click method. Let's do that same thing with what? With um, advanced function. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this header. I'm going to copy this header, control C. Then I can come to anywhere, pick control V here. I can pick it anywhere. Now I want California. Under the state, I say under state, I want California. Let me copy so that we don't do mistake in the spelling. California, control C. I can come here under the state. I will put it under state. That's the first thing. Then, under the um, type, I want single family. Control C. Under what? Under the single, under the what? The type V. Then, 
where the pole equals to what? Equals to force. And um, the last one is where the bedroom, uh, where the disk price is greater than or equals to 600,000. Now, let's, let's just work with this and see what will happen. There are three things you should note. There are two things you should note. This is our range. This is the data range that we are working with. This is it. Now, the criteria that we want to use for our filter, this is it. We have our criteria here. From here to this place is our criteria. This is our criteria. Assuming I want to do Arizona. And I want it to be greater than or equal to 500,000. And um, I want a condo, and I want a falls. If this is my new specification, then my criteria will cover from here to here. Is that clear, please? My criteria will cover from the top. It must cover all the header plus the number of row that I have. If I have four rows or five rows, but in this case, I only have two rows. So you must add the two rows to what? To your criteria. Am I communicating? Okay. Now, let's quickly see how to work with that. Click on data tab. Click on data tab and click on advanced filter. A new table, a new dialog box is out. Number one, we have filter the place in place or copy another location. If I want to filter in place, it will act, it will happen the way the one we are selecting will happen. But I will click another location now. Now, another location is asking for my list range. The list range is my data. This data from here, control shift right arrow down arrow i've selected all my data once again you remember the this one what i what i did earlier here let's go to the first cell let me fill, let me remove all the filter here we already have a filter here Oh, let me remove the filter here. There's a filter in this box. Let's clear out the filter here first. I think there's no filter again. Now, go back to advanced filter. Advanced. Copy to another location. From here, now let me bring out this. I've selected the four cell. Okay, sorry. Here, inside this place, this is how our range is. Even though Excel has gotten it right, you can see that there's a, there's a something, a broken line dancing around this. But I want to do it so that we can see what we want to do. Click on this. Where is um, the keyboard? I will close it. Okay. Um, uh, keyboard on screen board so that you can see what i'm clicking on here i want to select from here the first cell i click on it i hold control shift i click on right arrow i mean that it has touched the end here then i click on down arrow key it has touched the bottom all my data selected once. Then, the second thing I need is criteria range. Remember, we have our criteria here. I select from here, hold my shift or control, then I move to the right. 
this is my criteria my list range my criteria then the third one is what copy to see because i said i want to copy to another location where am i copying to let me copy to this place i'm selecting this place for copy to and i'm clicking okay now we have our results the same result we have when we were using clicking one by one these are results we don't have arizona why maybe we don't have arizona that meet the criteria if we check here we'll see if we check manually we'll see there it means we don't have arizona that can meet up with this uh, criteria let me do it again so that we can do it together once again one more time control z let's go back to advanced filter okay let me de let me delete this let me go to home tab i use false for family in pool oh thank you very much I think somebody got what we got wrong here. False. As we will use false, that would have perhaps would have got something from it. Let's uh, try it out. Let's place, let's make it a false. Let's do it again. I said I want to do it again. Let's do, let's try it again now. I want to clear everything in that cell. Clear all. Now, let's click on advanced filter advanced we need like uh, different information first thing is what the data range you can see that excel has gotten it right by itself if you get it right you don't need to click shift again but if, if Excel does not get it right delete what you have here and select your data by yourself you can use your mouse but that may be that may take so much of your time dragging up and down <clears throat> and you can use control shift arrow <clears throat> the second thing here is what criteria range i can select my, my criteria from here to this place if i don't have this it will still work <clears throat> if i don't have this assuming let me do something what matters is that the header must equal to what you have the content i left out agent get listed and sold out <coughs> then copy to new location now then click okay <coughs> now we still have just the california only let's check what is wrong with um, arizona let's check I think there's no reason that meet that criteria. Let's come here. Let's um, do a filter. Let's see what happened to Arizona to confirm what we have done. Arizona, there's nothing above 500,000. Can you see that Excel is a very smart uh, tool? We want above 500,000. You can see this one. This one alone has um, destroyed the whole thing. That is what we got. So that is how to use advanced filter.